fighting spirit wrestling fans. I am longtime independent wrestling fan Robert. Burn It Down was a remarkable show from Fighting Spirit Wrestling at the Ludus Wrestling Center. Without further ado, here are the results. The show opened up with Manhattan Latin Benny Martinez defeating all good Anthony Green in a very good opening matchup. After Benny got the win, the end, Ian Aldwin, Leon Mason, and Cyrus DeVille come, come out and they attack Green. Eventually, they call out Man of Steel, Mike Vernon, and Indestructible Joey Tell. The two of them were ready to, like, because uh, I think Aldwin said to PJ Stackpole about a uh, match between Aldwin and Vernon. And Stackpole said at Immortals Holiday on Saturday, December 12th, but um, Stackpole said no. Uh, eventually, Joel Maximo hits the ring and says that. Uh, he would be their partner later in the show, but Talon comes out wearing an FSW t-shirt, and he was, Verna and Etel were like a little, I guess a little confused, they, they couldn't trust him, and eventually everybody left the ring, and Joel announced to the crowd that his brother was injured, so unfortunately that he would not be in action. Uh, next matchup, we saw Flawless Blake Morris with Desolate one, Rex Lawless in his corner, defeat the machine Sam Shields, who had uh, Matt Kappa in his corner. And, uh, oh yeah, Blake Morris I did get the win, unless I'm mistaken. And uh, up next, Joe Smooth comes out, and he made a challenge to anybody. Out comes someone who I didn't see before and didn't really get his name, and Smooth, uh, attack this guy and he looked like he was giving him a package pile driver a la Kevin Steen but instead uh, smooth it was like a package I guess package suplex I suppose and left the poor guy laying uh, next in the singles matchup Malta the Damager defeats G Vader by disqualification uh, when Vader hits Malta with a chair and Vader um he had somebody out there with him. I mean, he, everybody was making for his fun of this poor guy, chatting Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles at him and Lucky Charms. I guess people, a lot of people like eating cereal, too. But, uh... I, I don't know who that guy was and didn't quite get his ring name. Up next, uh, Julius Smokes defeats Suntan in a street fight. And that eventually led up to the three-way tag team match, which saw the opposition defeat Malice Oceans and Greg Jones of Omega Black and Certified Sexy. And that led up to the House of Pain coming out, and I forgot what they had said on the microphone, but uh, it ended up having a match on the spot where the opposition defeated the House of Pain to win the tag team championship for the third time. <clears throat> and... Eventually, uh, this didn't sit well with Omega Black and Certified Sexy, and Joel Maximo hit the ring and announced that at Immortals Holiday 4 on Friday night, December 12th, it's going to be the opposition, the House of Pain, Omega Black, and Certified Sexy in a four-way TLC match. Up next was a the five-star special as Magma defeated Spirit Kid, Big Daddy Dre, Chris Rex, and Sasha X, to gain the to qual third and final qualifying spot for the three-way match at Immortals Holiday for the vacant Primero Championship. I wonder why Braden Knight was unable to make the show. After that, they did take intermission. And I don't know how long intermission was, but many of them were out selling their merchandise and meeting the fans. Uh, after that, uh, the Greek god Papa Don defeated Eddie Kingston in a very good matchup, and, man, crowd, that crowd, oh, I, I wish, just kind of wish that that whole crowd could show up before the door opens, but I can understand with people having to work and not wanting to stand out in the cold. And in the main event, the six-man tag team matchup, the end, Ian Aldwin, Leon Mason, and his uh, Cyrus DeVille defeated Man of Steel Mike Verna, indestructible Joe Etel, and Talon, where Talon had uh, turned on, Et on Etel in the matchup. And 
eventually they were doing a number on, Tao was doing a number on, uh, like grabbing Vern on the outside, and Aldwin had he tell. He says, you know what, let's let's switch. And Aldwin took the microphone, and he mentioned that the contract Joel Maximo signed back in uh, September at Battlefield was where Aldwin could have a match with anybody he wants at any time. And he announced that he'll face Man of Steel Mike Vern one-on-one -on -one at Immortals Holiday 4. Uh, after the end had left the ringside area, Talon uh, attacked Joe Etel and Joel Maximo hit the ring and he announced that Etel will defend the title, the heavyweight championship, against Talon at Immortals Holiday 4 in a last man standing match. Oh, personal notes time. Great seeing Melissa, Nicole, Mike McNicholas, Hiro, Christian, his mom, I forgot her name, uh... Miguel, welcome back. Who else could I think of? Oh, uh, Antonio, Emilio, Justin, Isabel, Jasmine Tejada, Rustling Snobs, Joey and Daniel, uh, William, I forgot who, uh, Troy Thompson I noticed there, John Kerr, Shane, Joel, Elena. <sighs> I, uh, as you probably saw, oh, we got to see uh, Eric L. Cooper. Nice seeing him. Um, as you probably saw the star of this recap, I picked up a Fighting Spirit Wrestling t-shirt, and I also picked up a Sam Shields t-shirt from the man himself. Uh, Mike Verna, I'm waiting to see you get a t-shirt with your set with your picture on it. I mean, your new one is pretty is very cool with the colors of the Superman's outfit, but maybe something that says Man of Steel on it, or maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, Verna, I, I'll, I'll message you on a, on a shirt, on a, a possible shirt idea. <laughs> no, I'm not claiming to be marketing genius, folks. <coughs> uh, uh, yeah, a lot of people up behind us were complaining that we were standing up in the front row. I'm surprised they, they didn't want to like stand up themselves unless they're just not as tall as most of us. Uh, a lot of pretty ladies in the crowd, especially uh, a lovely redhead who was sitting behind, somewhere behind me. Had some pretty eyes too. Maybe I'll meet some pretty ladies at a show some at one of these FSW events someday. But eh, I'm really there to watch the show, as we know. <laughs> uh, who else I can remember being in attendance or whatnot? Oh, selfie, Josh. Yeah, Cynic, formerly known as Sonic. Hmm. For those of you who have not been to FSW show yet, come on down Friday night, December 12th. Their mother of all shows. Uh, what else can I think of that went down or something that was memorable? I dug uh, opposition's gear. You know, it looked like they were like in, I don't know if those were like suits mechanics wear or some kind of jumpsuits they had on. You know, it's like it's refreshing change from their usual wrestling gear. Um, ooh. Dang, who else I want to see on these shows? Crap. We're coming up. Well, I mean... Since we already have a few matches already announced for Immortals Holiday 4, I'd like to see Malta the Damager one-on-one -on -one with Big Daddy Dre. Could see see two monsters collide. I mean, I definitely want to see more of Big Daddy Dre in singles competition, even though Nick Payne and Hakim Ali are like go chasing the tag belts right now. And uh don't know what else I can really predict for this event. But, um, let me see what else I can think of here. Oh, man, it was so cold waiting out there. Okay. Well, I think that'll do it, FSW fans. Don't forget, the Immortals Holiday 4. Ow!